Episode 56 LV, Love, November 20, 2023 A human shield hospital and near neighbors taken hostage to wood smoke. War is hell. The good news is that a Gaza hospital has been evacuated of humans, and is now seen as the empty shell that Hamas used it for, with humans used only as pawns. Israeli hostages and collateral damage Gaza civilians were used as flesh and blood shields for terrorists. Even Israelis may be offended with Razep's following clumsy analogy that taking of hostages from an Israeli music festival is analogous to taking near neighbors hostage to an indoor residential wood burners polluting wood smoke. But living next to an indoor residential wood burner is hell too. To take that analogy further, using a hospital as a human shield for a terrorist organization is like an indoor residential wood burner using a house in a formerly peaceful neighborhood as a human shield for pumping out life-denying wood smoke day after day, sickening neighbors and shortening their lives, and denying those near neighbors a place in any bargaining table because those indoor residential wood stoves are certified. Near neighbors have to concede that the stoker of the wood burning fire is also a human being. But the actions of an indoor residential wood burner are life denying. Let's give the indoor residential wood burner the benefit of the doubt and say he is uneducated. If there were a negotiating table to bring the war on human health to the end it deserves, indoor residential wood burner vendors would not be the ones giving slideshows on the proper way to burn wood, just as any negotiating table during a Hamas Israeli war would not be monopolized by virtuous seeming Hamas lecturing on niceties of how to conduct the war they started with their terrorist acts. So this present slideshow by a near neighbor will be saying that taking Israeli hostages and using them as human shields inside an innocuous seeming hospital is analogous to indoor residential wood burners in a formerly peaceful neighborhood taking near neighbors hostage to the polluting wood smoke emissions day after day, choking the life out of the near neighbors. This slideshow is in contrast to the last 35 years of slideshows by Burnwise on government-sanctioned websites promoting wood burning as clean, if only, if only the wood burners would burn wise. The counter-argument is, of course, that wood burning is never wise, when there are truly clean alternatives to wood burning such as wind and solar energy, and heat pumps powered by electricity from a clean grid. Just don't burn wood to begin with. Burnwise is an offshoot from the vendor organization for indoor residential wood stoves, a lobbyist group that successfully lobbied for their economic freedom to manufacture and sell polluting home heating devices, for 35 years, since 1988 when indoor residential wood stoves began to be, against all scientific evidence, certified as safe. Burnwise lobbyists created such huge legal loopholes for indoor residential wood burning that most if not all wood stoves manufactured and sold today and sold for the last 35 years have been highly polluting. You could argue that until this year heat, pumps that work at 40 degrees below zero, Fahrenheit or centigrade, the temperature scales converge briefly at 40 degrees below zero, were not available until this time. That only furthers the argument that this is the time to take advantage of technology that has finally caught up with human need. So expect more slideshows like this as residents against wood smoke emission particulates, RAWSE presidents, Razep, attempts not just to sit at the government negotiating table, but to present the slideshows, except Razep will be telling the truth. Not using unearned access to government sites to propagate lies about indoor residential wood smoke so the vendors and manufacturers of indoor residential wood stoves can make another buck exploiting human misery for their own ends. A personal note. This editor enjoyed attending many peace and love concerts. It is not good public relations to kill and take hostages at a peace festival. It sort of kills the mood and turns any supporters against your cause. Israel leafleted Gazans asking them to leave the war zone. Maybe Hamas detained Gazans for their own cynical reasons. Razap leaflets people educating them on the dangers of indoor residential wood smoke pollution. Maybe Burnwise slame slideshows convince indoor wood burners to keep burning, despite overwhelming scientific evidence of the harm their wood burning causes to near neighbors and to the world. The Guardian, November 20, 2023 https slash slash www the guardian com slash world slash slash nov slash slash israel hamas war al shafa gaza palestine hostages idf military claim footage cctv security camera israeli army says footage shows foreign hostages inside gaza's al shafa hospital idf releases cctv it says is from day of hamas attacks and separately claims an israeli soldier was killed inside hospital israel hamas war live updates in jerusalem and agencies November 20, 2023. 
Israel's military has released video footage that it says shows two hostages being taken into Gaza's Al Shifa hospital on October 7, 2023, while there are growing hopes that a deal to release a significant number of hostages could be agreed. A spokesperson for the military released CCTV video that appeared to show a group of men taking one individual into a hospital, to the surprise of medical staff. A second clip showed an injured man on a hospital trolley. The IDF said the two hostages were a Nepalese citizen and a Thai citizen, who were not named. Israel and Hamas appear close to hostage release deal, say officials. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Hagri said on Sunday night that this was concrete evidence that hostages were taken into Al Shifa Hospital, the largest medical complex in Gaza City from where it says Hamas runs military operations from bunkers and tunnels below ground. Hagari also said another hostage, a 19-year-old Israeli army conscript named Noah Marciano, was killed by Hamas inside the hospital. According to intelligence information, solid intelligence information, Noah was taken by Hamas terrorists inside the walls of Shifa Hospital. There, she was murdered by a Hamas terrorist, Hagari said. He did not elaborate. The IDF said on Sunday that a preliminary pathological report and intelligence suggested the airstrike injury to Marciano had not been life-threatening and that she was killed by Hamas. Her body was recovered near the Shifa hospital last week. The latest claims come amid signs that Israel and Hamas may be edging towards a deal in talks brokered by Qatar that would lead to the release of a significant number of hostages, possibly in return for a limited ceasefire and the release of Palestinian prisoners from Israeli jails. Israel is still searching for about 240 people that Hamas kidnapped and took to Gaza after the cross-border assault that sparked the war. Some have been killed in the subsequent fighting, and there is public pressure in Israel to find a way to ensure survivors are released. Senior U.S. and Israeli officials and the Qatari prime minister all suggested that an agreement was close on Sunday. On Sunday, the IDF separately released video footage that it said showed the first solid evidence of a sophisticated Hamas tunnel network underneath the Shifa hospital complex. It said troops operating near the inpatients building at Al Shifa found a booby-trapped pickup truck in a garage inside the medical complex's walls. When it was destroyed in a controlled explosion, a tunnel was exposed beneath the floor of the garage, the IDF said, providing photographs. In footage dated the 16th and the 17th of November taken by army robots, a tunnel shaft about 10 meters long is navigated by a rickety circular staircase before it reaches a 55 meter long tunnel. The tunnel contains electricity wires and slopes downwards until it ends at a blast proof door with a small slot through which to fire weapons. The IDF says it is yet to reach beyond the door. Until Sunday, the IDF had displayed what it said were weapons found after searches of the grounds but was yet to produce evidence to back up claims of a vast tunnel complex located beneath the hospital. Associated Press. October 9, 2023. https article israel palestinians gaza hamas music festival 6 a 55 ae 2375944 f 10 ecc 4c 52d05 f2 ffe Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Israeli survivors recount terror at music festival, where Hamas militants killed at least 260. A video obtained by the Associated Press shows young people attending the Tribe of Nova Trance Music Festival near Kibbutz Riaim in southern Israel being attacked by Hamas militants on Saturday, October 9, 2023. Jerusalem, AP, the night was a getaway. Thousands of young men and women gathered at a vast field in southern Israel, near the Gaza border, to dance without a care. Old and new friends jumped up and down, reveling in the swirl of the bass heavy beats. Maya Alper was standing toward the back of the bar with teams of environmentally conscious volunteers, picking up trash and passing out free vodka shots to partygoers who reused their cups. Just after 6 a.m., as a light blue dawn broke and the headliner DJ took the stage, air raid sirens cut through the ethereal trap music. Rockets streaked overhead. Alper, 25, jumped into her car and raced to the main road. But at the intersection she encountered crowds of stricken festival attendees, shouting at drivers to turn around. Then, a noise. Firecrackers? 
Panicked men and women staggering down the road just in front of her fell to the ground in pools of blood. Gunshots. Saturday's attack on the open-air tribe of Nova Music Festival is believed to be the worst civilian massacre in Israeli history, with at least 260 dead and a still undetermined number taken hostage. Dozens of Hamas militants who had blown through Israel's heavily fortified separation fence and crossed into the country from Gaza opened fire on about 3,500 young Israelis who had come together for a joyous night of electronic music to celebrate the Jewish holiday of Sukkot. Some attendees were drunk or high on drugs, magnifying their confusion and terror. This is not just war. This is hell, Alper said. But in that hell I still feel that somehow, we can choose to act out of love, and not just fear.